Hi, Joe. And do it. Stop talking about Kanye. So for people who don't know, a few weeks ago, Anika McPherson, I believed, was snubbed from being on the Olympic team. I did a whole video on it, 16 minute long, about why Anika should have been selected by USATF. You can watch the video. It's really detailed. Long story short, basically, you had to be top 32 to be selected. Anika was 33rd, but there were three Americans ahead of her. So mm -hmm. she should have been 32nd because one of those three Americans should not have been on that list. That American should, Taina Butts, who finished, I believe, 14th at the trials. USATF should have removed her from the list. So therefore, allow Anika to be top 32 and then eligible to be selected. I made this video. Some people said, hey, USATF is not allowed to remove Tanita Butts from the list because, hey, we can't, USATF can't remove people. But the World Athletics Rule says clearly you can. Basically, I can highlight this uh, document that Anika McPherson tweeted out. Basically, USATF had till June 29th, right before July 1st, to tell World Athletics who they wanted to, uh, to pick. And basically, USATF should have told World Athletics on June 29th, before the deadline on July 1st, hey, don't, uh, we are not gonna, we're not gonna nominate Tidita Butts. She finished 14th at our meet. We're not gonna pick her. Please extend your list to the next eligible athlete. And then World Athletics would have done that, and they would have gone to the 33rd ranked person, which was Anika McPherson, who finished second at our trials. And then they would have extended an invite to Anika, and USATF would have been able to send the first place, second place, and fourth place finishers. However, USATF didn't do that. They didn't do it either because of negligence, because they didn't know they were allowed to do that. Maybe they thought, hey, if we remove Tanita Butts, we might have a lawsuit on our hands. But they were within the rules, clearly written by World Athletics, to remove an athlete from their quota in order to ensure that a different athlete gets invited in the quota. And that different athlete would have been Anika, who again finished second. And USATF should try to honor second over 14th. Now, it is July 23rd when I'm talking about this. Olympics are in a week. Is there still any slimmer of hope for Anika to be on the team? Technically, yes. USATF does have a clause in their rules that they're allowed to remove people from a team for different reasons. One is injury. Another is positive test. Another one is, I forget what the third one is. I don't know, ineligible. And then the fourth one is clerical or administrative selection error where they make an error. And this is clearly the error. So, you're there. Uh, the they have in the rules that they're allowed to fix mistakes. So that's one thing. Though, even though technically you could say it's final, they're allowed to switch based on mistakes. They made a mistake. They should not be sending the 14th place finisher over the second place finisher over a technicality that they refuse to acknowledge. I'm saying is there's a rule book. It's in the rules. You're allowed to remove an athlete from the quota, and they didn't do it. And they should have. And Tanita Butts recently jumped like 175. So it's not like Tanita had like a bad day at the trials. She's, she's not jumping over 190, which is what Anika has done. Regardless, it sucks. It's a travesty for Anika. Uh, you got to feel for her. I'm sure Tanita... It's kind of like, ah, I'm sorry, I don't know. Like, it's nothing on Ty Butts. She's not the one who picked herself, right? It's USATF mm -hmm. who did the problem. So this has nothing to do with Ty Butts Townsend. But Anika McPherson had a way to be on the Olympic team, and USATF did not use the rules that were given to them to allow her to be on the team. And Anika deserved preferential treatment over Tiny to Butts because Anika finished second at the trials, and Ty Butts finished 14th. This isn't a, uh, hey, let me in because technically I was here. Even though I finished eighth, let me in. You, USATF should have sent their first, second, and fourth place finishers, not the first, fourth, and 14th place finishers. And it was in, within the rules. 
you're allowed to remove someone from the quota. And USATF chose not to remove Tinita Butts from the quota. Watch the full video. I talk about it. I don't know what else to do. Do you have any thoughts on this whole situation? No, I think you covered it pretty well. And I think the we were all wondering with the rankings, not if, but when a situation like this would come up because we knew it wasn't going to be clear cut. And we thought it might be something like the men's 1500, but it ended up being the women's high jump where there was a situation like this, hoping that things get a little clearer by the time we do this the next time there's a major championship, which would be (laughs) next year. And listen, they're probably going to start leaning on the rankings more, not less. That's the reality of it. So these things need to be clarified even, even further.